What's going on everybody? Welcome to Batman Arkham City In Depth, a series where I go over aspects of the game and help you get better at it. For this series, I assume you're already familiar with the gameplay mechanics of Batman, so let's get right down to it. Today we'll be talking about Robin's combat. In general, Robin plays very similar to Batman. He also has two new moves and three new gadgets, which I will showcase later. Unlike Batman, Robin's moves and gadgets are designed to scatter and knock down thugs. This will become more clear when we take a look at his moveset. Also, unlike Batman, Robin does not have a disarm and destroy ability. This makes combat with armed thugs a little more difficult. Something I notice about Robin is that his stun and beatdown moves are so much slower than Batman's. This is probably to balance out his crowd scattering abilities and challenge you to isolate a thug before performing these moves. As for his aerial attack, I didn't get to test it, but it seems to be slightly faster than Batman's. If you do know and can confirm it, please let me know. Just in case you didn't believe what I said on the last slide, here's a quick comparison between Robin and Batman's stun and beatdown. Okay, okay, maybe that was a little too quick. So here it is again in slow motion. For Robin's stun, I didn't see much of a difference in speed between his and Batman's, but you can see Robin's beatdown starts off a lot slower because he does a little spin at the start. Eventually though, Robin does speed up in his beatdown, so I guess it kind of makes up for that, although it does end up being a lot slower than Batman's anyway. Alright, I think we spent enough time on this. Now I think we should take a look at what's really important, his moves and his gadgets. Now the first move we're going to look at is his special combo group attack. You can use this move with the same input as for Batman's Bat Swarm. What Robin does with this move is that he steps forward, swings his bow, and knocks down all the enemies around him. It's great for building up combos, but it's kind of short in range. Our second new move is Robin's special combo throw. This move is done the same keys as Batman's multi-ground take. For this move, Robin picks up a thug, does a spin, and tosses him. I personally don't find this move particularly useful, but that's just my opinion. If you do it right, you can actually toss the thug pretty far. Now, on to the gadgets. Our first one here is a zip kick. It works very similar to Batman's back claw but it launches Robin forward a lot faster. I find this gadget a little more useful for getting closer to enemies, but not so much for anything else. Now, on to the next gadget, the Snap Flash. I find this gadget to be the most useful in all of Robin's arsenal. You plant this explosive with the same inputs as quick firing your REC. Just make sure you're close to a thug when you plant it, or it might not work, sometimes glitchy. Its devastation comes from its large explosive radius. Be warned though, since this gadget is so powerful, you only have three of them to use. Finally, the last gadget is Robin's bullet shield. Quick firing this gadget is the same as quick firing the freeze blast for Batman. If you're looking for a quick way to knock somebody down for a ground pound, this gadget should do the trick. It's much faster than the ultra stun. Also, I've done the tests, and no matter how much you use this move, it will never actually knock out a thug, so be ready for a ground pound. Wait, before you go, I've got one final clip for you showcasing all of Robin's 11 moves and 5 gadgets. If I miss anything, or you would like to ask me something, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer questions. Alright, enjoy! Thank <laughs> you. 
Just a few personal tips, after having used Robin for a long time, you can build up his combo pretty easily if you use his scattering moves and his snap flash while there's still plenty of thugs. So it's always a good idea to plant that snap flash on the first enemy that comes toward you. If you're looking for maximizing your points, that's all I gotta suggest. Well, that closes this in-depth episode. Hope you enjoyed and decide to stay for more. What should I do next? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.